Good morning. We're going to look at the semi-interquartile range this morning. Now the semi-interquartile range this morning involves firstly finding the quartiles and that's what yesterday's exercise was all about. So to find the semi-interquartile range we use the formula that's on the board. Semi-interquartile range is Q3, the upper quartile, minus Q1, the lower quartile, divided by 2. So first of all, you've got to find these quartiles. Now remember what we said, you had to ensure the data was organised from the smallest to the largest. Uh, you found the median and then you found the middle value of the lower group of numbers and the, the higher group of numbers. So we did that yesterday. So on the board is the example we used yesterday of the Sunday school outing and the teacher. And we've listed Q1, Q2 and Q3. So let's do the example on the board. Find the semi-interquartile range of the data below. So if you're asked to find the semi-interquartile range, you need to use the formula that's on the board. Now that formula is not given in any formula sheet. You're expected to learn that. So you need to know the semi-interquartile range is Q3 minus Q1 over 2. So we are asked find the semi-interquartile range. So we start by using that formula. Semi-interquartile range is equal to Q3 minus Q1 all over 2. Now we've done the prep part of that. We've found the quartiles. So if we put that into the formula, that would be Q3 is 10 minus Q1, 7, divided by 2, 3 over 2. So the semi-interquartile range, 3 divided by 2 is 1.5. Now it's another way of looking at the spread of data. And because it involves more than just the end pieces, as a range does, it's, it's another way, using more of the information in the question. So, semi-interquartile range involves finding the quartiles that we did yesterday and putting them into that formula. So your task today is going to be to calculate the semi-interquartile range. And you'll find that exercise on page 108 of your textbook, exercise 11.3. Okay, so going through this chapter well. Uh, as always, set your working out the way that I have on the board and check your answers the same as you would in class. And if you have any difficulty whatsoever, you get in touch and I'll help you. Okay, thank you very much. And again, keep working hard.